kind of trend that baby boomers might applaud, but it's younger consumers who are driving the resurgence of vinyl records. In recent years, the area has seen a spike in vinyl. Dan Godwin takes a look in tonight's Fox Forward. It's never been easier to access recorded music. There's downloading as well as streaming services. Virtually any song you want for cheap or free on your phone or your computer. So why would those in search of music go out and purchase a format that's decidedly pre-digital, a little bulky, sort of labor intensive. Despite all that, vinyl is back. Over the last several years, we counted no less than five vinyl record stores that have popped up around the Metroplex. They joined the established shops like Good Records along Lowest Greenville in East Dallas. And it's great to say hello to the co-owner of Good Records, Chris Penn. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me, Dan. So at your shop, vinyl sales have exceeded CDs for several years. Uh, nationally speaking, CDs are still, though, out in front of vinyl. Yeah, CDs are still being pro being produced and, and you know, people are buying CDs. We still carry CDs, but vinyl about six to eight years ago just really noticed it was booming and we we moved our CDs upstairs and we've brought all vinyl downstairs. Yeah. We've always carried records, but it's just been phenomenal the resurgence of vinyl. So in your shop and many, many other places, sales of vinyl records being driven not by uh, baby boomers, but by much, much younger consumers, millennials, but born after 1980. Yes, uh, it just it, it's it's pretty amazing, and it's makes me, makes me feel there's hope for the future. <laughs> exactly, like it'll be a, a good world. Yes, <laughs> where, the... where vinyl is still around when it looked like for for years it might just go extinct. And, and something that may surprise some people: the major artists, and even not so major. New artists routinely now release, uh, put out their albums on vinyl. Whether it's Adele, uh, you know, Rihanna, uh, very often, ta well, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, she's one of the you know highest sellers in 2015. Adele, I mean, pretty much if there's a new release coming out, there'll be a vinyl, there'll be a vinyl release to accompany it. So what is the appeal in an era when again, it's, there's so many easier ways to listen to music. Well, I'm noticing that it, people are making it more of an event uh, where they'll invite their friends over like you would in the, the 70s and, and even the 80s. And, and you take the time, hey, let me show you this record. Let me show it to you. Like, put it on. Here's listen to side one. You kind of gather around and you're hanging out. There's a collectability to it where people are like, I got to get the, the, the pink vinyl or the limited numbered edition. And it just makes it fun. There's a, there's a part of the, the allure of it makes it fun. A lot of people do lament the loss of music stores, record stores over the years. And you're saying that vinyl records are actually helping keep the local record shop alive. Oh, very much so. I, I would, good records would be closed if vinyl was not selling the way it was. It's just, just the, the record labels are looking to, to capitalize on what's selling. So you're seeing pretty much if, you, if it was ever on vinyl, you're going you're gonna to see it again in a new, 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 new pressing. All right, Chris Penn, co-owner, Good Records, corner near the corner of Ross and Greenville, East Dallas. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come see us.